Hi, I'm Kenley Chunley and I'm working on Concerto Con Moto for uh, Lorenzo Center of Open Source Software. And just as a recap, Concerto is an open source digital science system used here at RPI. It operates on a, cli it operates on a client server model, it's a web application. And clients, which are which runs on the Concerto <coughs> player, download content from the content server and display them. And they currently display things in a carousel-like manner, as I said in my earlier presentation. And the problem is that it has no interactivity with the viewer. Like you, you, the viewers can't interact with the signage. And wh what I'm working on is something called Concerto Con Moto, which I came up with the name. I came up with the new name recently. And it's the and it's Italian for Con Moto is the Italian term with, for with motion. And it fits in with the uh, musical terminology motif that we have for Concerto. <coughs> and currently, it uses uh, free open source free <coughs> open source libraries. One is called LibFreeNet, which allows which allows for uh, software to uh, interact with the Connect hardware. It grabs a uh, three dimensional image from the Connect and sent it to a program. OpenCV, which is an open source computer vision library used to rec used to uh, do some higher level logic with the data from uh, LibFreeNet. And DefJS, which uh, applies some gesture recognition algorithms to recognize hand gestures and send them, send events to uh, JavaScript pages, to like JavaScript code in a web page. And what's been done so far, uh, DefJS is a project developed by a bunch of PhD students at the MIT Media Lab, and I discovered it. And I've been working on uh, getting it to work or uh, compile and work and fixing a lot of bugs. And I got it to build on Linux, build and function on Linux. It sends events, which is important for when I distribute Concerto Con Moto in the near future. And this is a uh, graph of the commits that I've made game over the course of the summer. This blue stuff here is what I've done. And you can see it's been merged back into the main tree twice. And this is and just what I said, some of the, pro some of the problems that I had. And this it goes into more in depth of what I have done to make it work. I uh, created build, build script for Linux. We wrote parts of the code to work against a, a new LibFreeNet API. And I definitely reached out to a lot of people on IRC and other resources. And, this is, and what I plan to do in the future is I create a live USB image which has a Chromium and a packaged Chrome application containing the Concerto Con Moto code, which allows you to run a uh, signage, which allows you to run it directly off live USB like we have in the displays around campus. And it's going to, and I intend for it to replace the current Concerto player. Um, Images that we currently have, and some of the advantages include that include uh, being able to work offline without a network connection, because we like we've been having a there have been uh, times where we have power outages and those uh, disrupt internet access, and we've discovered a few bugs there, and this and it's going to use an exponential back off to uh, to to intelligently reconnect. And what I've done so far is I've co committed some s a skeleton and of the of an overlay, which I, I can't show you just yet, but it's, I'm working on it, and it's a, the mock-up of it. And what I do plan in the future is uh, using HTML5 local storage to store configuration settings for the player, so you don't have to you don't have to remaster a live USB image every time for like every installation that you have like at our like the images that we have only work are pretty or have the uh, RPI URL hard coded in 
with uh, future changes, you can yeah configure that right from the uh, live on the live USB when when you first start it up. And you get a choice between uh, this uh, really nice overlay, which is hand gesture friendly, or the uh, standard display that you currently see right now. And I'm working to integrate that, the rest of that, the, my project with the existing concerto screen.js file, which powers all the client displays on campus and the rest of the infrastructure. And it's time for a live demo. <coughs> This is the uh, work I've done on DefJS, which it, wor it actually, when I started, none of it worked. Now it, I've committed a lot of code that makes it work. <laughs> I was working before. I'm going to close, close it out and start it. As you can see, I'm trying to get it right. Still currently trying to get working on it. It didn't work before. Like it's a little bit. It's a little bit tricky to work with. I guess see how tracking works. Apparently it's not detecting my, my head for some reason, but... Okay, it works out. You can see that it's uh, currently at a very rough stage right now. And what the DefJS team at MIT is working on is they're working on improving the algorithms used to recognize hand gestures. And and this is the uh, build of the controller player running locally on my Google Chrome uh, version of Google Chrome, which. This includes support for hand gestures, as well as the page. And it's currently at the same state as that page because it relies on the same underlying framework. But if it sees a hand, it'll, pa it'll pause it. OK, it's, again, it's not, really, it's not really working that well right now. And that's about it. And the idea was that if you if you place your hand, it passes for that time. So how does the schedule take care of? Right now, uh, there is some scheduling algorithm that that uh, that passes through all the screens, right? What? The screen display in Concerto goes through some scheduling algorithm, right? Some 15 seconds or so for each screen. And that's set per that's set per slide and. Uh, and what it does when I put my hand in front of it is it, ca it causes it to pop. It sends a signal to pause. Mm -hmm. So it, it sends a signal to pass, up, and then the clock stops, or what does it do? The clock just pauses until I remove my hand, which simulates a user walking in front of the display and putting their hand, putting their hand through it and trying, and trying to manipulate <coughs> content by, you can uh, view the next slide, view a previous slide. It's all supported in the uh, current iteration of screen.js that is integrated to player installation. Any other questions? Can you just like detect the closest thing to it to find the hand? Yeah, that's what it's doing, but that's it's, what it's trying to do. But I think I'm like too close to it, and there's not enough room for uh, for it to accurately detect right now. Any other questions? If, uh, so if, when, you, when you show the demo and you're standing in front of it, you know, if both your hands on the frame, you would highlight both of them. Um, if it 
it's in a room full of people, how does it know who to listen to? That's uh, rather, rather that's rather tough because it it sends uh, the connect sends a depth map. It sees it detects the closest hand to the connect. So that's what I would listen to. Any other questions? Let's see, just because it's pretty common for people to be walking, for a, a large number of people to be walking by the concerto signs at once, um, do you have any plans to maybe have it, you know, realize when it's confused and not, you know, what the point are all about? Or? That's currently, like, as I said, the uh, team at MIT is currently, they're working on DefJS and they're working on a new algorithm, algorithm which. Uh, so that's sort of like an upstream issue? Yeah, it's an upstream issue. This is just a general question. Is there any plan for some kind of collaboration between Concerto and the RP I daily email? Uh, RP, our daily email, so daily message. Is there a connection between Concerto and daily mail? Um, you mean morning mail? Morning mail. Morning mail. That's a question for the rest of the Concerto team. But they're not here. Most of them are not here. They're not here right now, and I'm not involved in the back end stuff anymore, but I am currently working on this project with the client. The client. Yeah. Yeah. We did morning mail. Morning mail is a uh, is really available as an RSS stream as in many other formats as well. So uh, the other digital signing system, .cao digital signing system, has some display is dedicated to morning mail, and Concerto could use that as a channel if it wanted to. As an RSS stream, so that's yeah, we that's always very doable. We could certainly take it in as an RSS feed. In terms of them, we're in terms of morning mail working off of us, that doesn't really happen as of yet. Um, we could, yes. you, you know, in terms of our image content, we might be able to uh, do something. Yeah, that's certainly something we can talk about as well. Is uh, is using it as a channel as a unique content source. That's something we could definitely talk mm -hmm. about. We'd be interested in talking about. Okay. Thank you.